Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So in the last video, I talked about pet peeves of passengers, but in this video, we will be talking about pet peeves of my good old coworkers, other flight attendants who do things that are annoying. Before we get into this video, if you haven't subscribed, go ahead and subscribe. Oh look, we have a visitor. Say hi. He's like, girl, put me down. Say hi, it's Pepper the Cut. Say hey. Hey guys. Whenever I do a video, he's always like looking at me like, here she goes, talking to herself. Cause he knows the difference between being on FaceTime and just making content. Because obviously when I'm on FaceTime, somebody else is on the camera talking back. So right now he's kind of like, who is she talking to? And he's just like looking around. So yeah, this is Pepper. Okay, he's ready to get down. Ready to get down. All right. If you haven't already done so, go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Tell a friend to tell a friend to tell a friend that these pet peeves are right on time. If you're in training right now, trust me, you're going to resonate with one of these pet peeves that your coworkers will do because they will do them or maybe I just work with all the flight attendants who do these things and you won't so um before I get into these these pet peeves are like low-key a stretch honestly because I've maybe flown I don't know 75 to 100 times already and I've only had about four flight attendants who I don't want to work with again like their vibe was just off and don't want to work with them that's four out of a hundred so everybody else was cool a hundred other people are cool so that means it's really not bad like it is nice that we get to work with other people so I have seven pet peeves here and let's just get right into it with number one being the vibe is off. When I say, when I say the vibe is off, it's just like we're not meshing well. It's just, uh, your vibe is just not giving what it needs to give. Like, I consider myself a vibe connoisseur. I've met a lot of people in my life and interacted with a lot of people so I just know off of our first encounter whether it's gonna be a vibe or not. Now I feel like this is a 99% success rate there's probably just one percent where it's like oh I was wrong about you but when it comes to work and co-workers I'm always right that one percent never relates to co-workers so I'm always right when it comes to co-workers and the vibe being off now the vibe being off can consist of just like your verbals your like non-verbals body language it can be a number of things and like just like another like small example that i'll say is like sometimes of course appearance is everything right especially being a flight attendant we have like 20 pages in the manual about what we should look like at work so obviously it matters and sometimes a flight attendant will look very weathered or just they look like they need a little bit of sprucing like sprucing up and that normally means one or two things either one you don't care about what you look like and that's not a vibe or two you have a lot going on in your personal life which is why you came to work looking a little worn down, tired, a mess. And that's also not a vibe because nine times out of 10, that flight attendant is going to vent all of their problems to you on that flight. And mm, it's like, I don't want to be a therapist today. I just want to be a flight attendant. So that's a pet peeve. However, what I will say is that someone else's vibe does not determine 
my performance at work. Like, I'm gonna do my job. I'm gonna be cool. I'm gonna have a high vibe regardless. It's more of a mental note for me to just keep my vibrations up, stay in my lane, keep the interactions to a minimum with that person because the vibe is just off with them. Pet peeve number two. When I get on the plane, please let me put my things up first before you talk my head off. Like, let me just get settled in. After you introduce yourself, please let me put my stuff up before we talk about anything else. Let me get settled. Let me do a pre-check. Let me, let me put the bags up before you get on my nerves. Like, that is such a pet peeve, y'all. It's so annoying. Pet peeve number three, I will explain the scenario and then we'll conclude it. So I was the ad flight attendant and I was talking to the forward, yada, yada, yada. I go and I do my service. I am maybe like all the way at the end. I only have like maybe one or two rows left. I'm doing service and someone bumps into me. And I'm like, what the, who could possibly bump into me? I turn around and it's the forward flight attendant. And I'm like, the forward flight attendant was doing trash. As I'm doing service, she's doing a trash run and she was walking backwards and that's how she bumped into me. That's annoying number one because girl what why are you doing trash right now when i'm doing service wait till i'm done y'all so she bumps into me and i'm like what are you doing and she's like oh um do you need anything i'm just like i need you to not do trash and bump into me while i'm doing service I need you to just never do that again. It, the plane is already small. We're already like cramped up and then you bump into me. Like trash is not a top priority. You could have waited until I'm done with service. Like that was just so annoying. It wasn't even annoying that she was doing trash. It was annoying that she bumped into me. Why are you doing trash backwards? Like what? But yeah, that was a huge pet peeve and that just happened like last week. So it's a fresh pet peeve that I would add it to this list. And it's high on the list because it was annoying. If you are a forward flight attendant, wait until the aft flight attendant is done doing service, then do trash. That way you guys never bump into each other. Also, within the same pet peeve, if I'm the aft flight attendant, I normally have a discussion with the forward flight attendant that if I need anything, I will press the passenger call button to get your attention. Don't walk up to me during service and ask me, do I need anything? If I need anything, I'll press the call button. Like, huh? Get away from me. And the thing is, the issue with coming up and asking me is that I don't hear you coming because the plane is so loud. So it's literally just you coming up and like either tapping me or coming up and just talking to me. And it's like, it, scare it startles me. That's the issue is that it's startling me. And I'm like, where did you come from? So it's not the matter of you asking, do I need anything? It's the matter of that we discussed what we're gonna do. And then you just startled me when I told you that I will call you if I need anything. So that's what makes that encounter annoying and a pet peeve. Pet peeve number four is going to be flight attendants who cannot deal with silence. I'm content with silence. 
I can be in a room with 10 people, silence can fill the room up, and I'm gonna be okay. I don't even mind it, I'm unbothered. There are other people, there are flight attendants who they don't like silence, silence makes them nervous. They will talk, 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 talk your head off because silence is uncomfortable for them and you can just tell. So the flight attendants who don't like silence, they will just talk so much. And sometimes it's about nothing. They just talk and talk and talk and talk. And they just don't pick up on social cues that I am done talking. I don't really wanna talk anymore. Um, and it's just awkward. And sometimes I'll even just tell them, hey, like, it was so nice talking to you. I'm just gonna read my book now. I've had a flight attendant who was like, the silence was just so awkward for this person that they were like, oh, what are you reading? What is it about? And it's just like, please. Girl, be quiet, be quiet. Pet peeve number five is going to be uh, those flight attendants who can't be alone. Okay, so what I mean by this is sometimes in between a flight we'll have a sit, a two to three hour sit. So a sit is basically, let's say I go to Dallas to LA. We have to sit at that airport for maybe two to three hours until the next flight that I'm scheduled to work. I just wanna make this disclaimer, whether you're watching this and we work together or we may work together or just in general, don't take this personal. Like I am someone who likes to be alone. I enjoy being alone. Of course I like mingling with people, but I value my alone time. So whether I'm working with a flight attendant who is a vibe, like, okay girl, you're a vibe, but during this sit, I wanna be alone and I will see you at the next flight and we can chop it up on the next flight. You know, I don't wanna sit with you the whole time because I just sat with you for two flights and I'm gonna sit with you on this flight and tomorrow. like. I want my alone time and if you're not a vibe it's like don't look for me bye one time I had a flight attendant and I was like oh I'm just gonna go for a walk during the sit and then she was like okay yeah me too so we're both walking and I'm thinking we're just walking to the food court area and then she's gonna break away and then I decided to go into a store she followed me into the store and I was like, oh, she thinks this is an us thing. And I was like, this is not an us thing. And I told her, I was like, oh, you don't have to join me. And she's like, oh, I'm not doing anything. I don't care. And I'm like, let's not do nothing separately. Like, <sighs> that was awkward because it was just like, girl, I just want to be alone during this time. Like we have a four day trip together. You don't need to be under me. Like what? That was awkward. Just don't be one of those flight attendants. It's good to, you know, disperse and do your own thing and come back together. That's just me. I like to have my me time. So just so y'all know. Pet peeve number six. <laughs> six is working with a supervisor y'all it's not even a pet peeve it's just nerve-wracking when you work with a supervisor working with a supervisor as a flight attendant is equivalent to working a regular job and hr is working next to you and they're like don't worry we're not watching you like your hr of your you're definitely watching me like what? It's, it is so nerve wracking. And I don't know the 
names. No, I don't know the faces of all of these supervisors of, at my base. I only know the one that I worked with and like her face. So of course, if I work with her again, then I'll be like, okay, this is her. What I want to tell you guys is that you could work with a supervisor of your base or you could be working with a supervisor of another base. So it's like, you know, you can save yourself some time and look on the company website and look up, write down all the names of all the supervisors at all the bases so you know who you're working with and who you need to, you know, be up to, up to par with when you're working. Or you can just do your job correctly every time. Whichever one works for you. So yeah, there will be a time that you're gonna work with a supervisor, just to let you guys know. And that is nerve wracking. But of course, nothing happened with that um, supervisor. She was very cool, but still, I was definitely on edge. And lastly, pet peeve number seven is going to be flight attendants who are loud. Oh my God, like this is, it's so annoying. And I've only had two who are loud. And it's crazy because it's not, when I say loud, I mean that their voice carries to the end of the aircraft it carries and i've had two people like that the first person i remember telling her like hey like we're we're talking in the galley and she's it sounds like she's screaming i was like hey girl you're a little loud like bring it down she bring it down maybe two notches so it's still loud but she bring it down like two notches for like maybe five sentences and then bring it right back to her super loud voice and I was like oh my god this is so loud and you know what's crazy is with these two people the conversation that we're having is about work or about passengers so when they're yelling they're like I cannot stand this passenger or they're like I can't stand this job. I can't wait to quit. We're overworked, underpaid. And it's like, girl, I hear you. But so can everyone else. They were so loud to the point where I was just like, okay, I'm just gonna stop talking because They don't have an inside voice, obviously. And a good conversation just makes it worse because they get even more excited and more animated and they just start talking louder. So I'm just like, okay, let's just cut the combo. Like this one girl was talking and I was just like, you know what, girl, excuse me, let me go do trash because she's getting riled up like too hype in the conversation and she was low-key high-key screaming and I was just like yo I can't do this <laughs> so those were all of my pet peeves let me know down in the comments if you guys have pet peeves or something that is annoying that a flight attendant has done also if any of these have resonated with you I cannot be the only one who has these seven pet peeves. I know that some of y'all relate to at least three, at least three of these. But let me know in the comments and let me know what you guys would like to see and I will post that content. Well, that's all I got for you guys. See you in the next video. Bye.